Most average Pokemon players can tell you a Pokemon's type by just looking at them, therefore knowing the right moves to take it down in a battle. But what if every single Pokemon in the game got randomized to a new typing? Today, my friend and I will be building a Pokemon team from randomized starters, but we won't know the typing until we've picked all six of our Pokemon. So between these three Pokemon, obviously you'd want to select Giratina to add to your team. But what if it got randomized to a useless typing like Bug and Grass? When we finish picking our team and the typings are revealed, we're able to give each Pokemon one single attacking move of the same typing that they wouldn't usually learn. The remaining three moves have to come from their usual move pool. Then we're going head to head in a battle without knowing our opponent's teams or their types. Also, we're getting so close to hitting 600,000 subscribers on this channel and over 50% of you that watch these videos every week are not subscribed. So if you enjoy yourself, hit that sub button. It's free, you get content every week and you can always change your mind down the road. All right, Matt, apparently I can't beat you in a traditional Pokemon battle. So today we're randomizing typings but we're not gonna know what they are. Do you wanna go first? You're the guest here. You know what? <sighs> Yeah. You looking like the real Slim Shady today, my guy with the big oversized hoodie. I literally woke up and told my girlfriend, all right, time to go beat Dylan's booty real quick. Be right B. That's crazy you would say that. Yeah, it's it's like our thing. All right, I'm just take this mod on the right real quick. He's done. Dude, he's garbage. You used this guy against me last time, and uh, he did not put in that work. Oh, do I go for the guy in the middle? But the guy in the middle, his whole shtick is his typing. Abilities stay the same, right? Abilities will stay the same, yeah. If you can find Cinderace, bro, you're chilling. These guys are actually both really good specifically for their typing, but one dude has more tools than the other. Yeah, I'm gonna get the guy on the left because I actually think they do in the middle. He's got great base stats, but his typing is his being. That is his being. Can you tell me what that Pokemon is? I want to know. Swampert. Oh, yeah. But what is this? I'm getting shooters. I got everyone's uh, people. I know. I, I mean, already flying. You can't get much better than flying fighting. Honestly, I think it's one of the best offensive stab combos in the game, but this is still pretty good, bro. I got my hot Lucha Weavile LARP. First pick on the Don squad. We got Weave Lucha, baby. Dark and Ice, which I think is a phenomenal offensive typing. I I gave him the move Glacial Lance because it's f funny. <laughs> And I actually think this set is pretty interesting. Uh, typically, I think the idea with this Pokemon is I want to get him out in neutral. Try to bait a switch from Dylan. Right to go out into a fighting type. I bulk up and I'm holding the Chopple Berry. I can eat a hit and then that will proc my burden. And I have plus one defense, plus one attack. I have Drain Punch to get my health back and then I can sweep. I think this set will be really cool. It probably will not work. But if it does, that would be sick. All right, let's see what you boys got. Oh, I'll never forgive him for just making this guy flat. Like, I feel like he should stand up. Up. Like, I could just step on this guy. I feel so bad. Okay, so this Pokemon has a pretty big quad weakness. This Pokemon has a pretty big quad weakness, but both of those are gone. So who do I want to utilize? I'm going to go with the left because he's got some good setups. And if I can get lucky with a good typing, maybe I think I can get some coverage on him. Honestly, I'll take it. He loses the quad weakness. We'll see what he can do with it. Dude, I was thinking the same exact thing. You should definitely pick that Mon. Thank you, Slim Shady. I appreciate you. Stop calling me that. We got Steel and Dark. God. Okay, uh, King Gambit in the flesh. That's really freaking good. Steel and Dark is not a horrible typing to start off with. Yes, we're quite weak to fighting, but we're also just really resistant to a lot of things, and we can deal off a lot of damage. Plus, Shell Smash is really good on this Pokemon with Wider and Solid Rock, so he can kind of resist those fighting types and fire and whatnot. And then I gave him the custom move Double Iron Bash from Mel Metal. So if I can get a Shell Smash off, this thing is going to do so much damage. Next time I hang out with you and Amaya, I'm going to be like, how does it feel living with Slim Shady? Oh, I'm going to make fun of you with something creative and clever right back. <laughs> Round two, baby. Round two. Fight. Oh, oh, oh. I got some guys. All right, let me let me just sit and meditate on this one. Oh my gosh. Streets are not going to like me for this one. I'm not picking the guy in the middle. I know he's favorite. I know everyone loves him. He's cute. He's cute and a favorite. Who is that? It's Mimikyu. I'm not picking him. I mean, he loses what? Ghost Fairy. So here's how I view Pokemon battles, right? Yeah, sure. My gun isn't cute, but it's really good at killing people. You're that kind of trainer. The kind that like dropped his sand through in the anime in the water. And it's like, I'm training him. I'm training him. I swear. Sand through back in the pool. This is why I got to beat your ass. This could backfire like totally completely and utterly but it could be really funny and that's kind of my brand so you know what yo i'm about to pull up give me that mom on the right baby <laughs> what i was so hype to get this guy i don't even remember who the other dudes were it turns out to be the dragon and ghost typing which is really dope for a lot of reasons i mean i don't really get stab on water moves and hurricane anymore which sucks but i'm probably gonna run defensively anyway in fact i am but i'm pretty hype about this because i don't have to run boots i don't have to worry about any sort of hazards on him i can just use damp rock and get my rain up a lot of you guys know i like to have a little fun with these battles switch up my team a little bit i never really did a rain team i don't think in one of these then we fights uh, i also give him core enforcer as you said any stab moves so i'm, I'm picking this
picking the crazy ones. Like, you didn't say, don't do that. You know, I'm doing it. Before our next Pokemon, experience the Oregon Trail like never before, and now at 40% off. A modern twist on the trials and tribulations of the road to Oregon. This is the official successor to the global phenomenon that immerses you on these exhilarating journeys on their wagon train west. You decide how the story plays out. Pick your party, stock your wagon with supplies, and embark on an adventure with tough choices, new dangers, and unexpected situations. Survive blizzards, snake bites, starvation, and more. Listen, we've been sponsored by Oregon Trail before. It's an amazing game, but now it is offered at 40% off. If you needed a new adventure in your life, this is the time to pick up Oregon Trail and pick up their DLC, Cowboys and Critters, which offers new journeys, characters, locations, and 13 new stories. This 40% off discount is a limited time offer. Click the link below and visit GOG.com and pick it up today as this deal will be gone on July 14th. Just click my link down below, save big, and start your new adventure today. All right, let's see. Oh my God, this is just a horrible round, dude. I mean, I, I, I gotta pick the one in the middle. I don't gotta question it. The sucky thing is we could be duplicating typing until we have no idea. Yeah, exactly. Brother, I got a Romatisse and a Cheruby. Like, what do you what do you want? Cherum gang? Don't even act like that. I'm picking the one in the middle. I love the Pokemon. His stats are okay, but his typing is really freaking good, and he's gonna lose that, so. Rock and fighting. Very interesting typing. I can't think of a lot of mons that have this, or honestly, on the top of my head, any mons that have this. There's not a single rock fighting type. I got it. Oh, never mind, Terrakion. Dang it. <laughs> Kingdra, rock and fighting type. Once again, can set up with Dragon Dance. I went ahead and gave it leftovers, and the custom move I gave it is Storm Throw, which always crits as a fighting type. And Kingdra has the ability Sniper, meaning these crits are going to do even more damage. So we don't have to worry about anything setting up as long as it's not a ghost type. We can hit it, guaranteed crit, and especially with a Dragon Dance, and flip turn to get out if we need to. Honestly, a really solid Pokemon. All right, Dylan, I'm in. <laughs> let's run it. Oh, my God. All right, let's see what I got. Oh, man. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Guy on the right. Guy on the right. Guy on the right? I'm talking good stats, good ability typing. A little on the miss side, but if we change that... You feeling really good, Matt? I'm feeling tasty. Even though the guy in the middle, I kind of am in love with, but uh, that is not the path. Now, this dude's typing is usually bad, and now it just got a little bit better. Okay, cool. <laughs> This is super ideal. And next we have Dragalgepede. I picked this dude because he's a great Pokemon, right? You can do like the whole speed boost, like uh, sweeping as well as like lead with him and get up your hazards. I actually got a really cool typing with him. Another dragon type, but he's dragon and poison, which is really cool because he still maintains his stab, right? I can still use poison jab and still get a lot of damage on that, but now he's just not a terrible typing. So he's probably going to be my late game sweeper. I gave him dragon darts because I believe that is the best physical dragon type move in this generation. It's consistent it does 100 base power as well as 100 accuracy which is just a really good time i did want to run protect just in case i need to revenge kill something but i have to give it earthquake because if dylan has a steel type uh this thing can't touch it with the ground dragon poison coverage i think i hit like everything except for like a flying steel type <laughs> hopefully it doesn't have one of those i'm very happy for you all right let's see come on oh i just talked about oh this is a i found cinderace for the fun of this video, it kind of loses that specialness, right? Because he doesn't have his typing. I mean, it doesn't matter because he has Libero. You can give him a free coverage move. Uh, I could. I could. But I kind of just going to go with the one on the right. Obviously, better stats. More of a fan favorite. And I think Libero is kind of not as fun. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the one on the left. And here we go, Mewtwo. Ice Steel. No. That is so bad. I mean, I get Stab Ice Beam. I think maybe he gets Flash Cannon. I don't even really know, but oh, that's such a weak type and quad weak to fighting, quad weak to fire, weak to ground. It's crazy that so far Mewtwo is my least favorite Pokemon that we have on our team. It's got Ice and Steel, a really offensive Pokemon. It's super effective on a lot of different typings, but we're quad weak to two. We have a lot of weaknesses. So honestly, I just went ahead and choice spec the Mewtwo and just hopefully can get off as much damage as I can from Ice Beam, Flash Cannon, Psychic, and Aura Sphere, and then just get out if I need to. Round number four. All right, I'll show you what I got. I'll show you what I got. I have three Mons that literally have the most... No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm getting the guy in the middle. Hold up, the synergy, hold up. The mod in the middle has beautiful synergy with the mod that I picked previously. These guys only walk into the club together. Oh, so they never come alone unless all the boys are out. That's what's up. All right, let's see what this Gavon's got. Bro, what? 
I mean, it's kind of cringe because I think you'd just be better if you had your normal typing because you have Swift Swim and, you know, water just go burr. But, like, I'll take the Terrakion stab combos, bro. I'll take that any day. You can me? I actually probably... I can run this physical now. Just keep it, like, close combat. I, I saw this, mon. And I was like, the gods, they have blessed me. They bestowed me. We got Kendra. Bro, it's rain. I'm letting it rain out here. I'm dripped up. I'm bricked up. Uh, the problem is it has rock and fighting, which is like a really good offensive stab combination. Phenomenal, even some would say. The problem is I can only give it one stab move. So I decided to give it like a nice physical uh, choice bandit build with this guy. And I think that would be kind of fun. You don't see that typically with Kendra because it's stab moves aren't that good. But I have Diamond Storm. Uh, the idea is probably I can set up the rain, send him in, flip turn out to be cringe and also just click diamond storm uh that's about it. it it's not the best it's not the best but i think it could put in that schwork i'm really nervous about this you, i don't know if i have synergy at all and yeah this is probably the easiest choice of my life look at it look at this <laughs> i get so excited every time i roll this is like me when i walk up to boomy classic marshadow not a marshadow but it is a ghost type i'm picking the one on the right thank god i only said that just to like get a ph test because i don't want to battle that guy i hate him all right we failed with mewtwo let's see dragapult fighting and psychic now this i can cook with i'm so down I'm finally not weak to fighting. I even resist it. This is my fighting resist. So I'm weak to not a lot of typing. So that's really cool. Really unique typing. Dragapult, just a really good Pokemon. Not a ton to stay here. We have Dragon Dance. We have really good attack. Uh, he already has Psychic Fangs from his move pool. So that's really nice. But I went ahead and gave him close combat as well to help with the fighting type. And we can U-turn on out if we need to. Go, Matt. Round number five. So this is what I was been waiting for, right? A Mon that has like a bad typing. It's like, ah, if only I can get rid of this stinky doo-doo, garbage, pathetic typing. This mon could actually do something, and that is why I'm picking the guy on the left, baby. We're finally going to see this mon put in that schwark. Hi, my name is, huh? My name is who? My name is Dawn. Yo, wait, that's kind of <gasps> Bro, he's like iron hands. Oh, we're done. We're done. It's a wrap. Stab body press. Oh, my God. Uh, We also have iron hands. The Agron. And I was super hyped to get this guy. Same principle as Scolipede, right? He's got like this amazing defensive stat, but his typing. Don't show it to your mother, all right? He's going to have some things to say. What's really cool about electric and fighting is it's, it's a really cool typing. It's just cool. It's just you pull up in the club with electric and fighting. You're getting looks, bro. You're getting some girls digits. The move that I decided to give up was Plasma Fist. It's just electric type, you know, stab. It's the best physical electric type move of the game. You'll see that trend with all my Pokemon. Rocks because I am annoying and Iron Defense because this thing could defend defensively sweep if majority of Dylan's team is physical attackers like my team I don't have a lot of special all right all right let's see come on can I counter him that's the same as last round all right the actual starters are Ooh. you're talking about mons that have terrible typings right I think of that in the middle but I'm gonna be honest I've just never used him I can't even think of his move pool I know he gets like I don't know heat crash or whatever it's called and the one on the right they're just both i'm picking the one on the left i don't know i mean his typing's already really good so i hate to lose that for what he can do he's thick he can take hits he can pivot i'm gonna pick him though now here comes my bulky mon i need this thing to be like fairy or something just to resist fighting types that's the only thing i'm asking for water bug will take that any day of the week i give this thing like first impression first impression on dust is actually insane he's got 100 uh, attacks so he can do a lot a lot of damage and here we have Slim Shady, an excellent Pokemon and a really awesome typing. Water and Bug, we got that fighting resistant and we don't have a lot of weaknesses. And I went ahead and gave him Leech Life from his own move pool. And then we got Surging Strikes from Urshifu. But this is a very thick Pokemon. So honestly, I built him more bulky and I gave him Pain Split and Will-O-Wisp just to try to whittle down Matt's team. Last round. Mm. All right, I got a really bad Pokemon in the middle. The worst. Terrible even. Not picking him. Guy on the right. No. I mean, obviously, everyone's like, what? He's not picking the guy in the middle? Are you throwing? Is Don throwing? Yeah. I'm picking the guy on the left, by the way. I don't know if I've ever stated that. Guy on the left. That's mine. All right, let's see what we got next. Oh, goody. We got Yan Marine here. Uh, she's bug flying. It's the only typing that's kind of stinky, but you know what? I will take it for one specific reason. There's synergy here. There's synergy here. And we got boots. We got boots. We're boots up. I picked this mod for magic bounce because it's like a super cool ability. I really like my team. It's very balanced. There are some holes. We have no fairy switching, but that, that's fine. 
Fairy's a dumb type anyway. I'm just gonna go for like a pretty standard, like switch this guy onto the magic bounce, calm mind, mess some things up, uh, type of beat with this mon. It's gonna be like, a, you know, a little pivoty guy. It just prevents certain moves from coming off. And that's the team. See, this is the thing. There's a legend. But it's a legend that without terra it is very, very, very hindered by its typing because it has some pretty good weaknesses. So they're in generation nine. So it's not a stack attack and it's a legendary. No, there's not stack attack, but there is Zergatry on my screen right now, but I'm not picking him. Right up against... I do love Zergatry, but I'm pretty sure he literally only gets electric type moves. No, he gets energy ball, dazzling gleam, 171 special attack stack. You know what? For you, Matt, I won't pick the one on the left. I'll grab the Zergatry. We stay Zerking out here. I love Zergatry. All right, Matt convinced me to go Zergatry over Heatran. Let's see what we got. A solo fairy type? We will take this any day of the week. I needed this so badly for my fighting weakness. Oh, thank you, Matt, for convincing me this. I only have two weaknesses. I'm pretty sure I get stab, degleam, I can charge beam, I can choice scarf this thing. Mwah! We'll take this. Zergatry, the solo fairy type with a choice scarf and beast boost. This thing has energy ball, it has volt switch, it has strange stream from the Galarian wheezing, which has a chance to confuse the opponent and does a little more damage than dazzling gleam. And lastly, I gave it thunder wave. Now, obviously I'm scarf, so if I thunder wave, I have to switch out, but honestly, I feel like Zergatry might come in on a Pokemon and Matt be worried that I am scarf because his special attack's already through the roof and he might switch Switch, and I get a free Thunder Wave off on his team, which, you know, speed controls everything in Pokemon. So it can do a lot of damage. It can be a little annoying with Thunder Wave. I have a lot of expectations from thank you very much. What did you get, buddy? You got Pelipper. Oh, we both got Kingdra. So we already know one of our typings. That's actually insane. Okay, so Scolipede. Ooh, speed boost Scolipede with a new typing. Halucha, Flying Press, Agron. Oh, no Rock Steel, Insane Defense, and then Hatterene. Oh, the, his team does vibe well together. He's got a really fast mod. He's got some bulk. He got defense. Uh, uh, this is going to be uh, interesting, but you boys got some stuff too. We got good special attackers. We got good physical attackers. We got physical wall. We got special wall. We got a lot of things we can do here. We just got to utilize it. I already know one of his typings, but he already knows one of mine. We both got Kingdra. Rock and fighting. We both chose it too. That's funny. No way we're both double Kingdra'd up. Oh, but I have rain. Do we both bring rain teams to the prom? That is so awkward. All right, so he's got a Mewtwo. I, I kind of hate that Mon Loki. Mewtwo's a big problem. And it changes its typing. Oh my God. Again. Do you know that Mon has like 106 HP and like 90 defense? That's like both bulkier than freaking Corviknight. Who let him walk around the house like that, man? And he does have like a lot of special attackers on his team, which is a problem too, for sure. Yeah, we're in a we're in a bit of a difficult spot here. I just gotta pray he doesn't have a fairy type. Don loses if he sees a fairy type. Do I just start with Pelipol? And uh it's good neutral, I think, right? I mean, there's a lot of things that can hit it. There's a lot of ghost coverage on his team. Damn, Dustnor, that's a good pick too. Um, and when we see no removal gamers, we go for the rocks. It's as simple as that. I know he could be mad. I went guns blazing. Iron hands. This thing Fighting an electric? You did not just get a fighting an electric type. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. You don't have good special defense. Even if you assault Vestas, that's 173. Nothing is immune to Ferret. This is a free hit. This should easily kill. I mean, he could sturdy it, right? And that would be really bad to lose my Zergatry. So he's got Stab Dazzling Gleam on this guy. He might have any other move. The thing is here, this Mon is such an offensive threat to my squad. I'm just gonna go for raw damage here with Plasma Fist. I think that's the play. It's a free hit. And I can confuse him. Yep, there's the sturdy. Yep, there's the sturdy. Confusing, confusion, confusion. Nah! Plasma Fist Agron, I took that though. I can't believe I took it that well. Okay, this is still good. This is still good. I'm gonna get a beast boost here. We live anything with sturdy unless it's a multi-hit move. Strange steam. Okay, that's an interesting choice. We should be able to live this. Sturdy. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. So Iron Hands is not gonna do much in this game. Plasma Fist, please get some good chip. This shouldn't kill. That does actually nothing, which is horrifying. I don't like how little that did. Bagron is a physical wall and fighting an electric is such a good typing. So I'm really happy to get rid of this, but I could also miss Strange Stream, you know, please. 
Fuck on wood, that doesn't happen. He might preserve this thing. He's thinking about this. I have half of my mind's weak to fighting, so the fact that I'm already maybe getting rid of his fighting type is really nice. Does he have any removal? Nah, I should have gotten up rocks. I think that was a misplay. I could preserve this as a sack. This could be a free, like, Yan Marine moment. I really don't have anything to eat fairy. Like, nothing at all. So, taking this guy out might be of, like, the utmost importance here. I think what I do is just sack this here, actually. Oh, he's thinking about this. He might actually switch. No, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Okay. Yeah! Okay, so we're gonna get the beast boost. Uh, we are scarfed. And we get rid of his fighting type. That's, I mean, that's very, very optimal. There's my special attack boost. This kind of sucks. Not a good lead for me. Not a good lead. I'm gonna assume this thing's choice scarfed. Um, I definitely think this thing's choice scarfed. It's choice scarfed staying steam with bolt switch. That's like a very Dylan thing to do. It's got the beast boost. Oh, forgot about that. Forgot about that. Hold up. So now I'm plus one. I'm solo fairy. I have steel weakness and I have a uh, poison weakness. If I go pelly pull, it probably dies to another strange steam. Yeah, I have no switch in. Do I go into hat? But I don't think hat lives. Mm, he's thinking here. I like that I got Matt thinking this much in the beginning of the battle. This thing's doing a lot of damage to my squad. I misplayed that, that opening pretty poorly because I forgot about the beast boost. Yeah, not liking this. Dragal Japit. What's this thing? Dragon Poison? He could protect here and go straight for the speed boost, which I think is very likely. Or he just thinks he outspeeds. Because I'm neutral with this and I have the beast boost. I'm neutral with Strange Stream. Do I predict to protect and I switch? I feel like Mewtwo is my best play here and I hope he just doesn't have anything for me. I don't want to bank on the fact that it is Choice Scarf, right? Because if, if he's not, it's like AV or some weird shit. So I think what I want to do here is Poison Jab. I, Strange Stream's not that powerful. So there are things that can go my way. I think he's going to think that I'm going to go for the protect here. This is like my only play. I go to my steel type and I hope he just went for a poison move or a protect. One of those two. He just SDs. I should have just attacked. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is this? Mewtwo? Oh shoot. All right, pressure. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to Swords Dance real quick. I don't think this guy gets priority. Strange Team is 90 base power, 95% accuracy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, he, he took the bait. I definitely should have attacked. This thing is plus two now. And then he's, oh, this is so bad, dude. I'm trying to think of the moves he would get. I resist everything. You don't get a fire move or a fighting move, I don't think. So I'm just going to go for stab ice beam and pray. He might switch here. Uh, This mod probably lives anything that I'm about to throw out right here. Ice and steel. Are you scarfed? This thing could be scarfed. We ball. Knowledge is knowledge, baby. I can I take one? Can I take one? It's not stab. It's not stab. It's not stab. I told you, he's just a bad Pokemon, man. This Mewtwo is not good. Now he's plus two. I think this should kill. Plus two with Life Orb. Yes! <laughs> oh my God, I hate that Pokemon. All right, let's think here. He is Poison and Dragon. He's got EQ. I do have Solid Rock, but even if I Shell Smash, it doesn't matter. All right, we're in a very good spot right now. I, he should have stayed in and clicked Sedarian Steam in front of my guy. I think he thought I was going to protect. He definitely thought I was going to protect. I feel like I could go to Slim Shady, Water Bug. I'm pretty physically bulky, and I'm going to Will-O-Wisp. Oh, he saw the Slim Shady. Anything. I saw how you gave me that eye look. I hate that Mewtwo died there. I mean, that was my best play, though. I could have just stayed in with Strange Stream, and I would have done good damage. It would have been neutral, and I might have killed, but I mean, if he protects there, gets a speed boost, outspeeds, and then kills him, it's just like, then he's plus two in speed. It's just, I don't know. I probably should have stayed in. All right, Slim Shady, that is... Yo, all right, now I have to win this. What does he do to me here? He probably has Will-O-Wisp. I could switch out. I think I would assume he lives in attack because this guy is really fat. I'm clicking Dragon Darts anyway because I'm him. Brother! I'm built bulky as a sin! I don't think Yoko's me. We get a one dart. Oh, no. This is really, really bad. I'm going for the double iron bash. Just go for the KO. He, I have solid rock, so he EQs here. Okay, this guy has sturdy. He's so sturdy. Who else in the rap game rocking a Caracosta, bro? That's my boy Dylan. All right, it's sturdy and solid rock. Should we assume that he lives in attack? I'm going to earthquake here. What do you do here, Matt? Yeah, you go for the... I have solid rock, and I'm bulky in defense. I should take one. Solid rock built defensively? How are you killing me like this? I'm going to earthquake. Uh, probably bring him down to half or just like do a lot of damage. This month. Oh, no.
I can't believe I didn't take one of these. But now I know he's not running protect. That's good intel. Matt is now gonna learn that I'm quite, that I like, he knows all my typings if he wants. So that's a really, really big deal. Who do you leave with this time? All right, so I have no idea on what type this thing is. Matt has the advantage going into battle too because he knows all my typings, if he really paid attention because all he had to do was click attack. Slim Shady. Interesting, interesting lead by my opponent. I have a better lead. This thing has got the heavy duty boots. So maybe a flying type, maybe fire, maybe bug. Let's see, bug and flying. I'm weak to flying and I he led his special attacker and I led my Willow Bliss mod, so that's not good. Bug and flying. I'm just gonna switch into Mewtwo. Frisky. Now, if my calculations are correct, I don't think I saw a single electric type on his team. I think Mewtwo was, I forget everyone's typing. I think Dragapult was fighting Psychic Dark Steel. I think Nuzzle should be extremely free. I don't think this mod wants to hit me with anything. I have max defense, so I should be able to live something. Call mine could be really nice here, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to nuzzle here. He could mystical fire, but like, why would you do that? Right, turn one. No shot, you mystical fire right here. Bug flying hatterene. Nuzzle! Mmm, that's very good for you, Matt. Very good indeed. But at least it's on, like, in my opinion, one of my weaker mons. I think Nuzzle's like a really free neutral play. He's going to switch out. Beautiful, beautiful. Please give me, give me a free power on something. Goes in a throw. Oh, yes. Well, you're not electric type, right? You're not electric type. You're not electric, right? Yes. I forgot what this thing's typing is. That is so good. That is so unbelievably good. So far, the three mons that I know, Matt doesn't duplicate one typing. He has such good team synergy. It's actually insane. I'm going to get a free ice beam off on something. For my sanity, though, just please just don't get full paired. That is all I ask. What's your fucking typing? Okay, well, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good switch. That's a good switch. That's a good switch by my opponent. Okay, we got a beautiful nuzzle off. I'm so glad I didn't go for Calm Mind. That was like the best play ever. I don't have anything for this. I have no switches on this team. This team is purely like no switch offense. And it's funny. Do I just go into Iron Hands and sack him again like a freaking pleb? Yeah, I think I'd do that. He does switch. That's okay. Am I going to get some intel? He goes out to Iron Hands. Okay, this is neutral. This is neutral. Ice Beam, I could get a freeze, please. Freeze! Freeze! Ah, I was hoping for it. We're gonna go to Iron Hands here on the Ice-type move. This should do like a bazillion damage. Goes for Ice Beam. Yeah, okay. That's fair. This is gonna do a lot. Yep, okay. So he's got lefties on the Iron Hands. We know he's got Plasma Fist, and I'm paralyzed. But I still think I'm gonna keep Throw alive because Throw is a really good counter to um, his Ma, his uh, Hatterene. It's a really, really solid counter. The only issue is Plasma Fist hurts my and higher team. The question is, who do I not want the most alive? It might be the Mewtwo because of the para. I'm just going to be honest. My only chance to really win, I think, is to try to get a setup. And I have a lot of mons with setup. So I, I actually hate to say this. I think I got to sack Mewtwo. So he should never go for the steel type move here. That'd be a crazy play. I mean, he could. I think Weave Lucia could be the play. I might be Erm throwing. A lot of Erm throwing that could be happening right now. But I, I'm going to go into Weave Lucia here. A little aggressive. I feel bad for Iron Hands. He never had a chance, man. He never had a chance. But to be fair, I don't really need him. I'm actually so confused by that. He goes out to Weave Ice, maybe, or Dark. I get another free Ice Beam off. I'm okay with this. Resisted? That's fine. Good damage. He's such a good sack. I'm going to double out. I'm going to double out. That was probably a bad play, but who cares? Uh, I think I can still win this from here. This thing is paralyzed. Goes for the Ice Beam. So you're smelling like a mom that specs. I am max HP. Did that say not very effective? We're getting chip damage on all of his mons. Oh, I didn't. I should have looked at his typing. I didn't see his typing. Okay, I was super effective with steel and fighting. So it is ice. It is definitely ice. Matt looks like he's having a midlife crisis. Did that not say not very effective or was that regular damage? No, that was not very effective. Oh my God. All right, he specs. He's so unbelievably specs. It's crazy. I'm going to go for a drain punch. Drain punch. He's going to get all his HP back, dude. Oh! How did you die to Earthquake non-stab, but Drain Punch quad effective doesn't? Can I get a freeze? That is insane to me. Lucha, you're ass, bro. You're dog shit. This is okay. This mod's out of my life. Oh my God, I hate Mewtwo. Throat chop, Matt. You could throat chop me any day. We're definitely not going to unburden sweep with this mod, but that's that's okay. He is ice. He does have fighting moves, so I can't really send out my steel type solid rock, can I? I think I just go to my scarfed strange stream guy and try to get my beast boost up. As long as Mewtwo's gone. He did get a lot of progress off of that because we traded essentially two mods for one. <laughs> 
that bitch. Don't do this to me. If I can get my beast boost up, maybe I can sweep myself. He goes out to Iron Hand, so he is gonna sack him on. Just not that mon. So I am gonna get the boost. Oh, dude, this the no priority, I think, is just such an issue. This is why we have sacks. Just kidding. I just remembered it's beast boost. I am a fool. I'm actually a fool. Goes with the strange stream. Okay. Having a fairy resist right now would be so good. This is the same thing that has happened because he he might go out and swords dance again. And I can't switch. We know that. We nothing can take a hit. Nothing can take a hit if I, I have to stay in a strange stream. I'm gonna go into Yon Marine and nuzzle once more. No, he switches to bug and Lying. He's gonna nuzzle. You're definitely gonna nuzzle, and I don't one shot. You have so much spadef. I don't think I one shot. Ah, screw it. I'm gonna stay in a strange stream. So, if this is not a uh, scarf, we lose, but I think it's scarfed. Oh! Yes! The quiz on my side this time! Oh, please tell me I can sweep now. Please live. It does not. Okay, well. Okay. Now I just a straight attack. Get the drizzle out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just remembered something. We have speed control. We have speed control up the fucking dick, baby. All right, it's time. What type are you, buddy? You are dragon and ghost. Interesting play by you, Matt. I am going to U-turn in case they opt to switch or the strange team misses. No, he's just setting up the rain. Let's go. And it doesn't. Because why would it? Why would it? All right, that's fine. King to run. Oh, Swift Swim. I do have to remember who he has in the back. That's like a really important element. So we're going to go out into King Tarak. Rock fighting and Swift Swim is what he's going for. Valid. I don't think you kill me, though. I think I flip turn to do my chip, sack off Halucha, and then go back into this guy in liquidation. He's just, oh, okay, okay, I see, I see his play. I see his play. He's coming in doing two flip turns. He's smart, man. He stays in. Yeah, because I don't think we one-shot with anything. We could have one-shot it, actually, maybe with a liquidation, but that's fine. We can still run this back. We can still run this back. I'm not going to be able to sweep, unfortunately, because he's just going to do the same thing. This is okay. I feel like he definitely he definitely flip turns again. Strange team. Please miss. Okay. I'm seeing the equations right now. I'm in the matrix. I'm locked in. He might think he wins this. He might think he has this, but I don't think so. Do I just let him go down? I feel like because switching is not going to do anything for me. Yeah. Yeah. I let him go down. All right. All right. Does he have any water mons? He has the bug water uh, dust nor. He does flip turn again. And thank you very much goes down. Okay. So he's going immediately out to Scolipede. There's only two mons left. So that's fine. Beautiful. I have the one with Scolipede. That is A-OK -okay for me right now. Because I can go into my uh, Psychic type. I should out speed. He doesn't have Protect. Down getting sweaty. This isn't like me. I'm used to like boppity boopity, but I feel like right now it's like the game has begun. I could Willow, but no, there's no point. Yeah, we're just going to go straight for the Psychic Fangs. Yup, 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 yup. You got to think carefully about this because I could D-Dance and he knows that. I could. He got to keep running this physical or special. He has no idea. This is Psychic Fighting, right? Yeah, it's rough. That's rough. This is why we pack a Choice Scarf Mon, folks. This is why we pack a Choice Scarf Mon. It could be special Psycho Boost coming at you, but it's not. It is Psychic Fang, Stab, and you die. I'm sorry. That's just so satisfying. GG's. I got to play a lot more aggressive. I think I got to get the, the rain up. Uh, I'm going to leave with Pult next, uh, Pelly Pult next time. Liquidation. In the rain. Does not kill. Lowers my defense, but Psychic Fangs will do the trick. And your boy takes round number two. GG's, GG's. I think Mewtwo is a solid lead. He leads out and sets up the rain turn one. Okay. So once again, this is just my ice beam mod. The knowledge gathering part of this is over. Throw. Oh, oh, come on. He's going to get the rain off and I can kill this Pelipper immediately. But I think Pelipper is a decoy and he either lets it just go down or he tries to preserve this. Now, let's see how well his steel hit his team. I think he goes into Halucha and I don't think he goes to Agron. I think I'm going to flash cannon, actually. Yeah, I don't have much for this guy because it specs ice beam. And yeah, what's his typing again? Are you steel ice? My only resist is Weave Lucha. Does Yamarine even offer anything? I guess that's another good question. Getting paralysis off is pretty pretty solid, but I, I really don't think I need this thing to win. And I think the rain is really good for out offensing my opponent. And I don't want to sack iron hands because I've been doing that. Like, it's not like he has ground stab, right? Or fighting. Yeah, I think this mod's useless. He might just let him go down. No, he didn't let him go down. Okay. Did you go to the Halucha? No. Okay. I'm all right with this. I'm all right with this. Yep. There it is. And 
we'll go ahead and hit it again. I think that's the correct sack. Because because setting up the rain, I think Pelipult's also useless. It's just going to be a, a battle of offenses. A battle of offenses. So this thing's going to go down. Flash Cannon. This thing goes down. On, I don't have to worry about being nuzzled. He might go in to the Swift Swim Rock Fighting, which is okay. I think this is Specs. I think this is Specs up the... Up the up the booty. We didn't see him send out a fighting type move. He probably does have one. Let's be honest. If he goes out into Kingdra right now, he's a fighting type move. That's what he gave him. I could go into Iron Hands and fire off a body press. I'm going to do that. He goes out to Iron Hands. Okay. I'm going to keep Mewtwo a lot because Mewtwo is now no longer having to deal with being parried. And I'm going to go to my own Kingdra. He's going to he's gonna Plasma Fist here. I like how we built our Kingdras differently. He had a, a chance for rain. I didn't have that on my team. So he built a rain team. I built mine for Sniper. He should Plasma Fist right here, I feel like. I mean, he could go for... No, no, he is going to go for a fighting move. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I mean, I don't really mind losing my Kingdra. I want to free switch in. Yeah, because at least this gives me some sort of offensive pressure. Because I'm going to be honest, I don't think Kingdra kills. And I don't think you have many, like, fighting type switch-ins, I would assume. So I think what I'm going to do here is you definitely do not stay in because I'm sturdy and you know that. I think I Plasma Fist here for some good neutral. Unless he wants to sack this thing, that'd be crazy. But I don't think he does that. I'm going to save this guy. I feel like he is going to go for Plasma Fist, though. Yeah, he is. Okay. I feel like he would do that. If you stay in, you're crazy. Okay. Figured, figured. He definitely needs that thing. That thing that thing causes issues every time he's in. Goes into Usopp. I could have body pressed there. I kind of wish I body pressed there. That's a that's a crazy play. Let's see here. I think I just flip turn here and break his sturdy. Now this thing should do some damage. I will get stealth rocks up, but I actually don't think it helps me that much. There's not gonna be that much switching in this game. It's so offensive that we're just gonna be in and out, in and out, in and out. So I'm just gonna go for the super effective body press here. I'm surprised he went into this. I could just go for the storm throw, but I think a flip turn will be nice. Just to break that sturdy. I feel like he didn't plasma fist again. I feel like he went for a rock type move. I feel like he, or a fighting type move. I feel like he did. I could be wrong. Unless he's banded. No, there's no way he's banded. He, he's, he's lefties. He body pressed. That's his custom move, I think. I don't know if he, act, no. I don't, I think he already gets body press, actually. There's the rocky helmet. I'm, I'm genuinely shocked. We should eat this for days, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that was, that was weird for sure. I guess maybe now he's going to go into his water bug, Dusnor. He's playing this really conservatively. That'd be so cranked if he goes in the Zerk tree, eats a body press, and then goes in some shady. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that, dude. I'm fine with that. I'm very fine with that. Frisk, he knows that I'm lefties. Whatever. Do I get my sturdy back here? Boop. Good ship. Good chip all around. Good chip all around. Good chip all around. That is rocky helmet as hell. Okay. Okay, so I'm water bug. He could kill me with plasma fist here. I'm going to go for the willow and hope for some reason I outspeed here. I don't think I do. This mon has been one of the weakest mons on my team, so he doesn't really do anything for his team. But if I can get a willow on his whole team, his whole team doesn't have fire. So if he switches here. I feel like he's going to go for willow wisp right here. My team is like entirely physical. So Yamarine would have been really cool to have for this mon, but I'm, I'm actually like not afraid of this mon in the slightest. I think you willow is here. I think it was here. I'm going to probably pull. I'm hoping he switches here. I'm hoping he tries to preserve Iron Hands. He does. His only special attacker is gone. I don't know about this one. This is probably actually not that bad of a thing for him. The only thing is, this guy doesn't have the rain now. If I can't kill this thing. Because he didn't reset up the rain, which is nice. Does he willow? Yep. Knew it. Okay, cool. Beautiful baby, beautiful baby. Now he probably thinks I'm gonna go for the hurricane here. So I'm gonna go for the aggressive play and make a U-turn. Maybe I should have gotten rocks up. Rocks would have been spicy. I feel like this is my best opportunity to try to set up. I mean, he might just run hurricane and not care about stab moves, to be honest. That's what I would do if I had his Pelipper. Now is firing off at hurricane, is that advisable? Is that a good play? This kind of invites Mewtwo in. I'm just gonna U-turn. But I feel like this is my best chance to try and set up a shell smash. No, U turns. Withdrawals. Got it. Yep. Because he thinks I'm going to go for Hurricane. Goes out to King. Who is that? Okay, cool. Cool. Very cool. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I'm trying to think of what the right play here is. 
If he goes to Skullpeed, I think I actually might be in really big trouble because he SDs, speed boosts, and outspeeds. Even if I shell smash on the same turn, he outspeeds. I don't. I have 35 speed. If he goes into Skullpeed here, I actually think I'm in a really big... This set, it is such a throw for me. I could try to win with Dragalja Pete here, but I don't know if I live in attack. That's the problem. For once in my f***ing life, I'm in a good position. This might be a throw. He's going into Skullpeed. He's going into Skullpeed. No! Okay, 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 okay. Now, what freaking type are you? I know you're ice, but are you ice fighting? You're dark I, oh, so you're literally just Weavile. Yo, call me crazy. I, I'm not going to get another chance. I'm, I'm shell smashing. He's going to drain punch right here, but I have solid rock. I'm going to hope somehow I take it. This might be a bad play, but we go for it here. You're what? Dark steel. There's no way you stay in here. Do I bulk up? I could drain punch, but I feel like you go to like the, some like some bullshit. Because he goes into Mewtwo, I'm kind of I'm kind of screwed, right? Because he can just like ice beam me or flash cannon or whatever he wants to do. I'm going to bulk up. This is probably a bad play. He bulks up. Oh no, this is so good. He's definitely not scarfed. Uh-oh. Oh, he thought I was going to switch. Oh, this is very good for me. This is very, very, very good for me. Now I have Stab, Iron, Bash, and I should outspeed his whole team. It's a good play. It's a good play. It's a good play. I think it's a good play. I think it's a good play. Did you shell smash? Okay, we're max HP. We're plus one defense. Double iron bash, and I can't miss. The Kingdra could come in and obviously do a lot of damage. I feel like Kingdra... Act actually, this isn't that crazy, I don't think, because Kingdra can just come in and I hit me with a uh, an attack. I'm pretty sure. But I got shell smash off on Karakasta. Karakasta W in the comments if you made it this far. I'm going to be reading them. Why would he do that? I could have just drain punched there. I do not think I live this. <laughs> His face, dude. Okay, there's my custom move. Double Iron Bash. That Weave Lucha side's actually dicks. The rain has stopped, so he's gonna have to go back out to the guy. I wonder if he didn't give Kingdra a fighting type move. I wonder if he didn't give him a fighting type move because he had so much fighting already on his team. We're so defensive. I'm not sure if he's running EQ, but we are very defensive, and that makes me happy. He goes out to the Iron Hands. This is a really good counter to him, actually. I did not think this through. Can Double Iron Bash flinch? Is that my best bet? Or just knock off his lefties? Because I'm gonna die. He has body press. I am absolutely gonna die. Dang, this isn't as good as I thought. I, I, I forgot he has this guy. Actually, you know, no, no, no. This is, this is the play. This is the play. This is the play. This is the play. I have to body press here. I think he just switches out, but I think I have to body press. How fast is Dustnor's Hold up. 45. I do outspeed Dustnor, I believe, so I probably could kill him with a Plasma Fist. That's a crazy set. Just going for flinches. Flinch! 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 No! No flinch! All right, you know what? Karakasta got a kill. I'm happy. Dude, double iron bash? I forgot that move existed. He stays in, double iron bashes. Oh, is he going for flinches? Don't do this to me, bro. Do not do this to me. Do not do this to me. Body press here. This should kill. All right, he got rid of the Lucha, which was one of my win cons. That Lucha set is donkey. The reason I let him die is because now I have a good chance to go into my own fairy type mon. That thing is just a, the hardest counter in the world. Like, knock off. I could have knocked off his lefties, but like, so what? Ice might kill his whole team. I'm actually going to go into Mewtwo. Iron Hands, I'm, I'm glad he finally got a, a chance to shine, though. So we are down. It, it is looking bad. I can't believe he just stayed in. I mean, he probably lives a drain punch, but that's still kind of crazy play. All right, we got Scolipede, Agron, Pelipper and Kingdra. So let's see, is Psychic better actually? Psychic, Psychic, not the Pelipper, which he will go to, or just stab Ice. Probably stab Ice actually. I feel like he switches into the Pelipper and sacks it and gets the rain up. That's what I would do if I was Matt. And then probably go to Kingdra, get a flip turn, because I don't think he has a fighting type move on Kingdra. And I don't think he sacks Iron Hands right now. Throw. Can you stop bringing this guy in, dude? He's definitely playing with the fairy, the Zerka Street Wing Con. He's playing this really well. His one steel type is gone, which means Diamond Storm should be like way more free. Uh, do I sack this? No. Because then it's like, what, what happens after, right? I go into Pelipper, and then I have to go into King Tarak afterwards. I think that's my only course of action here. He does withdraw Pelipper. Yeah, he's going to sack Pelipper. But he gets the rain back up, and that's still really good. And he's definitely uh, Damp Rock. So that rain's going to be up forever. I get, I get a free Ice Beam, though. And I'm spacked. So this thing's get dead. We know that. Um, he should go into the Kingdra. Now, the question is, does that Kingdra have a fighting type move? I'm quad weak to fighting. If he flip turns, he does not. But there's no other reason not to go for Ice Beam and just stay in and let him attack. Not having a Scarfer was such an L for me. Such an L. I'm having such a hard time revenge killing. So going to Pelipult. Sack this off here. 
Get the drizzle up. He's gonna go for specs ice beam. I hate Mewtwo. I actually hate this Pokemon. It is disgusting how good he is. He lives everything. He's actually an abomination upon our society. Frankly, I'm appalled by his existence. I'm frankly appalled. I'm frankly appalled. We're gonna go and take King Tarak here and shoot off a Diamond Storm. It's Stab, we're Choice Bandit, we're Adamant. His Diamond Storm? Holy crap, that did a lot. And I don't know if I, I don't think, I don't know if I, do I kill? Yes! No fighting move was so huge for me. I had such a fighting weakness. He gave it Diamond Storm. That's a great idea. I uh, Diamond Storm. This probably doesn't even kill because this mod's so stupid. Okay. Okay. It doesn't even kill. It doesn't even kill. I just lose here. I hate Mewtwo, bro. It's so fat. It is so stupidly fat. And I actually was like so down on this Mewtwo, like this Mewtwo's dog, but Mewtwo actually came through. I probably could have flipped turn, but I, I still think it was a very uphill battle. Like not I not having special answers was definitely an issue with this team for show. For show. GG, Matt. GG. He finally beat me. Well, I mean, he didn't really beat me. Yeah, alright. GG. GG's, GG's. I dude, was Mewtwo panicked the whole video that you had fighting on Kingdra, dude, because they just, it just I have Mewtwo? such a fighting weakness. I hate Mewtwo. 106, <laughs> 106 HP and 90 defense is crazy. You know, I did it. I had close combat on on Kingdra and I say I swapped with the Diamond Storm in the last minute. Yeah, I had when I when oh we were talking God. before the video, I'm like, I have such a bad weakness and it was fighting. So like and when you brought Swift Swim, I'm like, oh dude, if he has Swift Swim, close combat, I'm boned. My whole team is boned. I can't do anything. <laughs>